Welcome back. I have lost another rapid game, which I believe makes five in a row. This one I got suspicious during parts of the game, but as it turned out, I lost due to my own blunders. I'll just show you a couple of places where I got suspicious. For example, here, I have just moved my queen up to challenge this knight. And the whole reason that my opponent put the knight there, I assume, was to put it over here. The reason that they want it over here is to get rid of this knight. Because if I don't have this knight on f3, they're threatening mate down here on h2. They already have a knight in place here and they've had this queen in place here, but I wasn't worried because of this knight. But they've brought this knight here to challenge it. But they took 20 seconds to make this move as if they were waiting for an engine to tell them what to do. I don't know that that's what happened. They might have just been considering it. But once they did that, the computer shows that I, I took a while to make my next move as well, which was to block the queen from coming in. And it also saves this knight because this knight doesn't get captured here. Now, when I did put that knight there, my opponent took more than 90 seconds to take that, which is the only move that maintains equality in the position. Uh, 90 seconds doesn't indicate engine use. It indicates a person thinking. So that's one reason I should not have been suspicious. There were places here where I had chances and I blundered them away. For example, in this position on move 20, when my opponent checked me here, which I kind of thought that they would, I only have one move that gives me a slight advantage, and that's coming forward to challenge this knight. Now, the reason that I didn't move here, and I was recording this, I thought they would just go back there and check me, and I couldn't take it because my pawn was gonna be pinned. So I moved into the corner, but it turns out that moving into the corner gives my opponent an advantage. Now, again here, they took 25 seconds and found their second best move, sorry, 45 seconds, and found their second best move, which is here, which I guess threatens mate if I don't do anything. Like if I just move a pawn, then that's mate. The only move that I had here was king to g2. That's the only move that keeps me anywhere close. Well, that way, if they check me, I'll, I'll just take their knight. They wouldn't have checked me had I gone there. Had I gone here, I think they would have checked me over there, but then I could have gotten out. But instead, I thought I was lost. I thought there was nothing I could do. Well, for example, I played this, which is a bad move. It allows my opponent to come in here, which they're going to sneak in. I, I just made mistakes. And then a little bit later, oh, sorry, right there. Right there, I thought I was lost. Okay, well, maybe I've lost this game too. But it turns out I can just go to G2 again. Then if they come in here to check me, which they wouldn't, I could just take them. I can play king to g2 here, and I'm still at a disadvantage, but I'm not lost. But I thought I was lost. I thought there was nothing I could do. So I just started throwing away pieces, waiting for my opponent to checkmate me. I got suspicious again a little bit later. I'll just take you to that point. Right there. That's checkmate. It, it's just a simple ladder mate, because the queen protects the rook. And my opponent spent 10 seconds here, and then played that which leaves me only one legal move, which is king to g1. And again, that's checkmate. But my opponent spent 11 seconds and played that, which forces me over here. And then this time, my opponent did checkmate me. And then that's mate. Okay. Well, I'm suspicious now, because that's just checkmate. That's not checkmate. I shouldn't have been suspicious. I made some blunders. I could have won that game. I am now going to play another one. All right, I have recropped. I am ready to play. I'm going to click the play button and we'll get paired. I, I'm going to play D4. My opponent is rated exactly my rating. Okay, that aims to get the bishop out over here. I think in this case I can just take this pawn, can't I? Because that, they, that will remove a center pawn. And if they take back with the queen, I'll put the knight out here, I think. Okay, they took back with that. I can put this knight here to protect this pawn. And now if I put this knight here to protect this push, they'll just take, uh, put the bishop out here and pin my knight to c3 knight. So I'll play that in order to get out the light squared bishop. I'm not too worried about that. I think if they take, I can just take. Okay, I'm going to get out my light squared bishop and then prepare to castle. Okay, they've put an extra attacker on that, but that's fine. I'm going to castle. My opponent is coming, coming for my pieces. Surely they're, they don't want to trade off for that, do they? Should I put my bishop here to trade off their bishop? I... They'll probably trade, won't they? Um, I have no idea. Oh, that's to keep my queen from coming here. I think that's the reason for that. Wow, they're, they're moving fast. Okay, I'm going to be behind on time in this game. Well, let's see if we can get a rook out here. Oh, that's probably a mistake. They're going to win a pawn out of that deal. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was definitely a mistake. Well, I can... I guess I can pin that, that knight. Oh, let's trade off the dark squared bishops. Wow, they're moving fast. Well, I've got this side all opened up. I don't know if that's good or not. Yes, I can go here and aiming for that, but they're just going to move it to protect it, right? 
No, they're, they're going to move their rook. And that does not free this pawn because that knight is protecting it. I can threaten their queen and that pawn at the same time. I don't know what they'll do. Let's try that. And I'm more than a minute behind on time. But I am down a pawn, so that's why I'm thinking of this. This will help me get a pawn back. My opponent has two passed pawns down there in the corner. I guess I could go there, but then they'll just take. So let's, let's go ahead and take this pawn. I assume they'll take back, but they might not. No, they will not. Okay. Well, then... Um, I don't want to do that because that would... Oh, I, I have another piece down here. How about that? That pins their knight. I almost forgot about that light squared bishop. I mean, I guess they could go there, but then I'll take their queen. They'll take my queen. It'll get complicated. Oh, okay. Nice. That's not bad at all. Threatening my bishop. What if I threaten their queen? They're just going to move it, right? Oh, that they're going to do that? Oh, oh, and they can take my rook too. Oh, I... I w okay, taking their queen was my best move. You saw that's what I was that's what I was about to do. Okay, and my opponent saw that and resigned. But I, I just as I was about to move it, I was realizing that there also would get my rook and threaten my queen at the same time. So what would have happened? Yeah, if I would have taken that, I I did win points for that, right? Oh yeah, I won eight points for that. Very nice. Okay, that's a good relief. If I had taken that, they would have taken here, and then oh, and then I would have taken that rook with with my knight. And then they would have brought the bishop back to c4 here, threatening my queen, and I just would have moved it probably back one. Okay, so I would have come out ahead on that deal. Wow, okay. I, I was getting nervous there for a second, but let's run the game review just out of curiosity. Fortunately, this video is short. Oh yeah, I, I had my share of, of mistakes. Oh wow, look at the graph there at the end. That's all jumpy up and downy. Okay, but my opponent had two blunders. I had two misses. And uh, it was only 18 moves. And my last two moves were not good, apparently. My two worst moves were my last two. But I still had the advantage at the end of that. What about here? Was that a good move? Okay. It was the best move at the time, and I have a slight advantage. Now, my opponent should have played h6, or knight to e4. Or, well, it's, it's Stockfish is still working on it. Oh, it says it's gone back up to Stockfish 15. How about that? Did they solve whatever issues that were keeping them from running it? Or maybe they took my advice when I reminded them that all the other sites were having no trouble running Stockfish 15. I went into forums and asked about it. They said they were blaming it on the browser on chess.com or blaming the Stockfish 15 problem on the new version of Chrome. Well, I pointed out that it didn't work on Firefox or Edge or any of those others either, yet worked in all the other websites on those same browsers. But maybe they listened and went to those other websites and figured out how it worked. So they, okay, now it's settled on. They should have taken the knight. And then I would have taken their knight with my rook. And I would have had a rook down there. And then they would have just calmly moved their queen over here. And I would have had a very slight advantage. But instead, they moved the pawn. I, okay, I think I see why they might have done that. Because the pawn's protected by their rook, so I'm not going to take it. Oh, it says I should. Okay. Well, I, the one reason is that now they have two attackers on this knight. With the pawn in the way, the queen couldn't see the knight. But they got the pawn out of the way, so I definitely understand why my opponent would have played that, because now when they take the knight with their knight, I, I won't want to take back with my rook. Although, I, I don't know what I would do. It, it, says, it says I would just take this pawn, though, and then they would play knight to e4. Wow. And, and then I would move the rook over here. I would just leave that knight. See, I didn't want to put it there because I was afraid of the pin. And what I played was not among my top three moves, which it was counted as a miss. That is a miss. And it definitely says now their, wait, their queen should take my, that's what it says their best move is. Their queen should take my knight. I'm reading that right. Queen captures a7, but then wouldn't I take it back? And then they would take back with their, oh, and then they would have two attackers pointed right here. Their knight and their rook would be pointed at that bishop. Okay. I, I don't run into very many opponents that would do that, seeing in advance that I would go, oh, queen, and then they would do this and basically have my queen at that point. I would say that's more of a, not on my part. On my part, that's probably just a regular blunder, but on my opponent's part when they missed this, I think that's a, an advanced miss here for them because they your beginner's not going to see that, I think. But what they played was not among their top three moves. I completely missed that. Okay, see, I don't have to go to the next move here to figure out what I should have played. I saw it immediately. Yeah, I should have just taken that because I still would have been protecting the bishop and my queen would have been out of the pin. They just gave me a bishop, but I missed it. 
My next best move was to go here, which would also get my queen out of the pin, continue protecting this, and be protecting the knight. But instead I went after their queen, and they should have just taken that. Wait. Oh yeah, because if they took that, and I took their queen, then they would get my queen, and then I guess I would I, I would have a bishop hanging down here, and I would have a rook hanging down here. Yeah, that, that turned out to be pretty bad. Well, it's a good thing that my opponent didn't see that, and did that instead. And I was picking up my knight to move here when they resigned. Wow. Well, that was a mess of a game. And probably neither one of us should be rated in the 1280s after playing that. Oh, my opponent has just played more games and is now rated 1307, apparently. Well, good for them, J. Kona. All right. Well, I'm not going to play another one right now, but thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.